All right, so I just finished cutting these. Uh, these are gonna be medallions for my annual fishing trip. Uh, one thing I've started doing is just having an open line here. So my sprue is already attached, which means I won't have to glue it on. So there shouldn't be any glue to burn off. And then now I can just cut this line in the waste material and have a decent sprue. So, so next step, I just got cut them out. Uh, give them a little sanding, get the fuzz off, and I'm going to coat them in plaster. All right, so I got these things coated. Um, I'm going to get one set up and try pouring an aluminum one first. Uh, those I double dipped because I want to try doing alum aluminum bronze, so I want a thicker coating on those. Yeah, we're going to just try using that uh, Vivor electric furnace, and hopefully I can melt enough to cast one of these things, so... It should be pretty close. It's gonna take a full, a full uh, crucible, but uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll bury this in and melt some metal. All right, so I'm just gonna bury this in on a bit of an angle like this, and then I'll put my can here, just so the sprue pokes up through there, and then uh, fill it all the way up, vibrate it in, and then pour my metal in here, and hopefully that just works. So. All right, so I got a little bit in there to start. Um, I'm gonna just turn it on. I'm gonna set it up to uh, 825. As that little bit melts, I can feed more in through the top like this. And then once it's all melted, we'll pour it. All right, we're 25 minutes in. It's not quite up to temperature. Uh, it's starting to get soft though. Still got a little piece up here, that's hot. Um, as that drops in I'm gonna just keep feeding it and as this piece disappears I'll put some more in and try and get through this little pile and we should be good to go all right so I'm 50 minutes in <clears throat> this thing is quite full but I find the top the top cools down so I think I could pour it so let's just pour it It's taken it. It's stopped taking it, so we might have enough. Oh yeah, it's looking good. My first cast with the electric furnace. I'm ready. Got my gear on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna dump this in here now. All right, so here's the first one. Looking very good. Man, I'm surprised how clean it, how clean it came out. Like normally when I do uh, with the propane burner, I get this oxidized color that I have to uh, wire wheel off. But 
this one and the second one here they both came out really clean like very no oxidization really a little bit but I don't know that's awesome so for the second one I end up switching to uh, this pipe for a pouring basin instead of a tin can just to try and shrink this and get a little you know a little more head pressure but uh, yeah that's awesome I got a couple more ready to go so I'm gonna do those and then I got a couple that I want to do in aluminum bronze but uh, the plaster's not dry yet so I'll have to wait for that but anyway I'm gonna pour these two and I'll show you those I guess when they're done all right so I poured two more off camera they came out good uh, I want to try doing an <clears throat> aluminum bronze so this one I actually double coat it I've got uh, 900 grams of copper 100 grams of aluminum to start and then I'll top it up with uh, 270 grams of copper and 30 grams of aluminum so that gives me 1.3 kg which should be about right so we'll see how it goes so I got the all the aluminum in there and some copper to start for the first kilogram and then as that melts I'll feed the rest of the copper through the bowl and once that kilo is melted down we can have a look and I'll have to top it up all right so it's been an hour I got the first kilo in there it's mostly melted there's still quite a bit of room so I'm going to just feed the remainder of this 300 in through the top and uh, yeah I just drop it in and then if it's sticking out I'll just wait till it disappears and then add more all right so I'm about an hour and 45 minutes in uh, this thing might be a little full I'm having trouble keeping the the top solidified and there's some crud in there but uh, I'm gonna go for it anyway see what happens so I wish me luck Well, I think I came up short uh, with that smoke coming out at the end there. I think short pour, so that's too bad, but we'll see what we got. Man, it was so close. <sighs> All right, so here's what I got. For these, I drilled a hole, put a string in them, because these are going to be medallions. Um, yeah, they turned out really good. Unfortunately, I had a short pour with the aluminum bronze. But man, it's a it's a beautiful metal. It's too bad. I just couldn't get the volume. Um, I guess the heating coils in this furnace only come up to about here on the crucible. So once you start getting up into this area with the metal up above that, it, it has a hard time keeping it molten. So it's fine for aluminum because I just bumped the temperature up a bit and I was able to basically fill this thing to the top with aluminum. But... The copper, yeah, the copper starts to struggle after probably here, so I think I'll do more copper castings with it, but just smaller parts. Maybe something like one of these little trees would be fine. So, anyway, something to keep in mind. I did one of these, uh, if anybody can guess what that is, bonus points for you. But uh, this came up short too, I didn't quite have enough, so. Still cool, but anyway, I do have one left. 
I want to make a I want to make a golden one, so probably do brass. But I'll be using the propane furnace for this, just because I can get the volume. So anyway, I'll leave it there for this one, guys, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.